your life. Fade it on another level. Hey there, Internet. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit. That's only because I've been really busy with finals. And then now I'm in summer. Just finished junior year. Very exciting. And I'm just not realizing how deep my voice is because it's 12, like it's noon. And I only just rolled out of bed to film this video. Um, and this is the first words I've said all day. Wow. Okay. Um, no, legit. I just got out of bed. This is what this looks like in the morning. I'm going to a, um, like a lunch for this foundation I work for. Or volunteer for. Um, and honestly, I've just been like watching a lot of makeup tutorials recently, and I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not good at makeup, but I have fun with it, and I want to make a video about what I wear in the summer um, to events like this and just like going out. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just pulling back my hair, getting it out of the way. So I'm getting started by using my e.l.f. Uh, hydrating primer. I swear by this thing. I've been using it for over a few years now. And yeah, I'm just patting that in. Next, I am using my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, this is pretty exactly similar to the original eye primer that most people use. Um, mine is just anti-aging because it was six bucks at Nordstrom Rack. I haven't really noticed a difference between this one and the original, so yeah, I'm just pressing that onto my eyes to let it set before I get started on everything else. Next, I am using my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller and putting that under the eyes on the summer to staying up late, messing up your sleep schedule, it's not going to look good. Look your best. So next I'm using my Dream Fresh BB Cream by Maybelline New York in the medium sheer tint. Um, this product doesn't really claim to have a lot of high coverage, but it really does do what it says it will, and it does help protect your skin with SPF 30, so I love using it to protect against um, sunburn and stuff like that. Next, I'll be using a Maybelline concealer from the Fit Me line in shade 15 Fair um, to conceal under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose to highlight a little bit and on my forehead and on my chin. I also put this in the corner of my mouth. I don't know why I've always kind of done this, just because I find that area of my skin is a little bit darker than the rest, but that's just me. I don't know if anyone else does that. Next I'm using my e.l.f. contour palette, and this has a four different shades in it. One to highlight, one that's I guess powder, but I don't really use it, and um, two darker shades to help contour. And I use both of those shades, blend them together, and then put them on my face as a contour. Carve out my cheekbones, jaw, forehead, and nose. Um, the shades look really dark in the pan and on camera, but they are actually really natural and blend out really well, so I love this product. I've been using it forever. As you can see, I'm already hitting pans, so I'm probably going to need to buy a new one within the next couple months. Now I'm just taking my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and blending that up and out, and blending that out so I look a little bit more natural than just having some dark lines on my face. Next I'm using my Bronze Booster bronzer from Physician's Assistant, and it looks kind of yellow uh, in the pan and on screen, just like the contour kit, but it's really not. It blends out really well, and I like putting it over my contour just to give a little bit more of a bronzy, summery, sunshine look. And yeah, I'm just blending that out with the same Kabuki brush from earlier. Next I'm using the Coastal Scents Blush and Bronze Palette that I got in my birch box. It's just a little highlighter and a blush. And as you can see, I have really been loving it because I'm also hitting pan in that. I don't know what I'm going to do when it runs out. But yeah, I got it in my birch box and I love it. So I'm just putting that onto the apples of my cheeks and blending that out with my Sephora brush. I'm using my Dream Wonder Pressed Powder by Maybelline and just blending that all over my face over everything that I've already done just to kind of sort of set the makeup. Alright, you know it, you love it. The Naked Palette, I'm going in with that um, and using that on my eyes. This is 
probably one of the more expensive products I own, uh, just because I think you get so much and it's totally worth it. First, I'll be taking the shade Naked and just applying that with one of my e.l.f. blending brushes into the crease of my eyes. I'm taking just a e.l.f. eyelid eye, eyeshadow brush, I guess, and using the shade Sidecar from the Naked palette and just pressing that onto the lids of my eyes. Next I'm taking the shade Virgin, which is the lightest shade in the Naked palette, and using that on my brow bone just to give a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm going to use uh, another shade from the Naked palette called Sin, and put that on the inner corner of my eyes just to highlight a little bit, I guess. I don't know, I always do a lighter shade in the inner corner. I think it's a really pretty look. Next, I'm taking the eyeshadow brush that came with the Naked palette and using the finer end to use the shade Buff and line the underside of my eye. Next, I'm using my Ico eyeliner that I got with my Birch Box, and it was a product I loved so much I did buy twice. This is my second tube of it, and it didn't really focus, but I love the way that it's like a thick felt tip because it's really easy to control and do your eyeliner with. I'm not going to do a wing just because, number one, I don't know how, and number two, I don't look good in them just because of the way my eyes are shaped. So I just do a really thin line just to kind of tie the look all together. Next I'm taking my double sided eyelash and eyebrow clear mascara and using the eyebrow side on my eyebrows to shape them a little bit. I don't fill in my eyebrows since it's kind of the next best thing. Now I'm taking the roller lash mascara from Benefit which is mini because you guessed it, it's from my birch box. I just ran out of my Their Real Mascara, so I've been using the Roller Lash one from my birch box and I've been really liking it. So this is definitely the next best option to Their Real. Next I'm taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Milan and using that on my lips. I think this is a really fun, summery, bright color and I love the formula used in this soft matte lip cream brand. I have a couple different ones and they are phenomenal. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next I'm taking the Physicians Formula highlighter that I got, which I think is so cute. It's got a bunch of little pearls and a little pearl on top. And using that to highlight my cheekbone, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. This does give a more natural summery glow. It's not really super bright and intense like what I would use for going to a dance or something like that. So I do like it a lot. It's pretty buildable. And I'm using my e.l.f. highlighting brush to apply that. So I'm taking my makeup setting spray by J-Cats, I think. J-Cats Beauty, I think which is infused with cucumber, which you can definitely smell. I got this, um, I've never heard of this brand or anything, I just got this when I was visiting Miami University, and they sold it there for like six bucks, so I picked it up and I've been pretty happy with it. Okay, yeah, so that's that, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial kind of run through. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, you'll be seeing a lot more of my face as the summer progresses because I'm not just gonna slack off. Um, like last summer, I literally made like two videos, so I don't know why I make more videos when I'm busy. But yeah, I have a lot of AP English reading I should be doing. I'm not going to, but I have a lot of books to read and a lot of book reports to write. Not doing it though right now. Um, 
yeah, so I'm gonna head out to this party. I'm a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit late. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.